What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the show. Now, today, we're checking out the first of the cases we've ever done with Vitru. This is the Vitru M05. And one of the things that we've gotten feedback about was, Roby, we're not doing a lot of budget builds. So can we do some budget builds, something that's like more realistic, right? You do lots of $3,000, like the $2,000 builds. Well, guys, this build is pretty much going to be an all-white $1,300 build. So nice and inexpensive. We got a white 4060 from Zotac, so huge shout out to them. Okay, so let's start with the parts list on today's build today. So we're using the AMD Ryzen 5 7600, not the 7600X, the regular 7600. We're using an ASRock B650M Pro RS Wi-Fi. We got a Patriot Viper two terabyte NVMe drive. Team T-Force Delta RGB DDR5 at 6,000 megahertz. Uh, Vitru V5 cooler power supply. I did 850 watts because if you at some point in time want to upgrade to something a little bit more powerful, this is absolutely fine with doing it. So here's our beautiful 650 MRS. Something I thought was super interesting about this board. This actually, I freaked it out because I almost thought the board had broken, but it's got like this mobile VRM and it's like made to bend. It's actually on, it's on springs. So it's made to move. And I don't know why, why they made it that way. While we're at it, let's go and drop our, our PC, our uh, beautiful Ryzen, new, new premiere, world premiere of a brand new CPU here on the channel, Ryzen 5 7600. And covering it with all the, the paste it needs. Now to go with Vitru, we're still gonna use their V5 in white. So we're still gonna be using their cool CPU. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw this on here. Okay, look at that. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's all in. Let's go and do our clicks real quick. 99 today. Ooh, 96. 95, it did not even go close. It clicks out good, but it wasn't the good click. A Little bit left to install. This is the new case, the Vitru M05 is what we're building in today. This is a very light case, like, wow. Almost threw it. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go, three fans here. So you actually have a place to actually route the fans here. There we go. One more cable to pull. Okay, RGB fans are installed. Look at that, looks good in there. Let's go ahead and run our cable extensions. All right, there we go, guys. Looks nice and clean. Now we can just do our GPU. Here we go. Look at that. Looks very nice in there, very nice. Done. All we gotta do is drop in our PSU and we're finished. There it is, all done. It does look good, $1,300. Let's see how it performs after this. Here's the moment you guys have been waiting for. Three, two, one. I see lights. I don't see power though. I plug it in. Power switch is in the right place. This is, uh, it's got two red LEDs. Like there's some sort of problem right off the bat. Like the board is dead. I think the board's dead, guys. Yeah, I think I damaged the board, guys. I think the board's fried. So what we'll do, guys, is what I will do is I'll find a stream, order a new board, get it in here, uh, and then we'll uh, reinstall it. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do an extra, we'll do a little bit of an extra stream and take it apart, refinish it, and then get it, see if that, it was the board. Okay, so now we are, now we're actually recording. So anyway, again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this going, get this all fixed, uh, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I would essentially do it to get it up and running. Now we got this all done, we got it all built, uh, and then sad, sad, it did not boot. Okay, what we're doing right now, guys, is we're essentially just gonna verify that this board works. So what we're doing is what we're calling is benching. So what I do is I'm gonna set this whole thing up like it was going to get installed. The only thing I'm not gonna do is put an M.2 in it because I don't care about that. We're gonna update the BIOS, uh, just verify that the RAM works and all that sort of stuff too. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm gonna go ahead and pull the stuff that I'm gonna be testing with. 
Okay, so we got all the screws out. The Mobo should not have anything else connected. There we go. Okay, Mobo out. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna get it prepped and get the OS and everything ready for it. So I throw the 7600X in here. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have everything we need to bench. I don't necessarily care about an OS for this. Now we're gonna grab our separate PSU. Okay, so everything is ready. Now you might be saying, Roby, there's no power button. That is okay. We're literally just gonna jump the board. So you flip a switch just like this. And then down over here where the power and reset button would be. There you go. Okay, jumped it. Okay, so now you guys will see here in a second. All right, so we are now in the BIOS. As you can see, we've got a Ryzen Psi 7600X. The only thing I really care about right now is now that I know that it posts, I'm gonna go ahead and instant flash it. Okay guys, we have a completely functioning build, so we can shut this down. It is ready to go inside of the case, should we need to do it. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see, is our actual old MOBO in a deceased state for real? Ugh, we're gonna see if this actually works. Okay, it's all set up like we expect it to turn on. Turning on the board. Yeah, no, see, it's not doing it at all. Yeah, it's not posting at all. The board is dead, guys. Roby was correct. The board was the issue. So now we transition everything over to the new MOBO. There we go. Now we're gonna start putting it back inside the case. All right, here we go, guys. Just hooking up the last of the RGB here in the back. I think that's connected. I don't think, yeah, it looks like, okay, that's connected. The build is fixed, we hope. You guys have seen me troubleshoot the issue. We verified that the actual other thing was dead outside of the case. We benched and tested this MOBO. Here we go, guys. It's on! It's on, guys! There it is, it's alive! That's pretty. That's a very pretty build. It's like first try, guys. I, I, like, I didn't even have to try. The build is fixed, and we are in to test it. Ugh. We finally have Cinebench ready, guys. And then we will get to gaming and see how this $1,300 system runs. Uh, I feel like the temps are out of control. What do you guys think? I think we should throw this PC away. What do you think? No, I just, I mean, like, dude, it's got 70, th this, I think this is gonna be fine. I don't think we're gonna have a problem with temperatures on this. Okay, so let's check out Cyberpunk 2077. Okay, so we're gonna go to graphics. We'll do, well, let's do ray tracing ultra, texture quality high, DLSS. We're gonna leave it quality. Okay, 63.99 frames per second. We can do raw just because we should. I'm just impressed with like what this, like a $1,300 build. Here we are. This is Cyberpunk Ray Tracing Ultra Raw, 1080p, it's north of 30. Quality, frame generation on, and then run the benchmark. So this is if you wanted to turn on all the NVIDIA bells and whistles. And latency is at 11%, and look at that frame rate, 95 now. So, I mean, pretty impressive for $1,300 to get almost 100 frames per sec. Let's load up some Call of Duty. This is 1080p, basic this is optimizing for frame rate i mean this is crazy 13 dude 1300 dollars system 150 you know this is great for cod so let's just try and make it a little bit better so we'll go to quality here oh actually dude, this actually your frame time still good yeah let's go graphics just so you guys want to see ultra we'll throw ultra on here this is raw ultra so again the one thing that's tough about this is that you're not getting 120 fps i think you definitely want to go and run basic 99 frames per second at ultra. Again, great 1080p system for 1300 bucks. Let's 
check out Hogwarts Legacy. Everything's ultra, no ray tracing. So 83 is pretty, I mean, that's actually pretty, pretty good. So this is ray tracing. This is no DLSS. This is raw. Oh, it's definitely 30. Ooh, yeah, you can feel that. Let's go ahead and throw DLSS on. So it's at 50, so a little bit better. Okay, let's take it to the max now. Throw in frame generation. Okay, I'm not, this is way smoother for sure. Yeah, but I'm definitely seeing texture pop, especially, you know, especially on the windows and stuff. So there is Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, well, that is it guys. That is the full build. We, what did we get done today? We actually, we fixed the PC, replaced the motherboard and look at it, it's all lit up guys. It looks, it looks really good. Anyway guys, have a great rest of your night. Super appreciate you guys hanging out and we'll see you guys on the next episode. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.